Hello again, and for today, I am delving back into the weird and wacky world of Comicsgate because so much has happened since I last talked about Ethan Van Piver and his uh, 24-hour gay ops war campaign group that it might surprise a lot of you. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of chronicling. I think that someone is beaten me to the punch and he started doing it right around the time I did my last Comicsgate video and that is obviously Preston Poulter of Pocket Jacks Comics so link in the description to a fantastic series of videos called Last Week in Comicsgate where Preston covers what is really going on with a little bit of a bias but you know enough of one to say hey the other side is clearly lying and wants to play the victim when they are the bad guys here. And they demand your silence. So that is why I side with Preston overall is that he is truly calling out that this invasive group of Ethan Van Piver's toadies have completely ruined the initial mission of the OGs of Comicsgate. Who, for my money, are Richard C. Meyer, Douglas Ernst, and Captain Cummings. And, you know, Captain Cummings has come back on the scene because he's just noticed how fucking off the wagon it is now. And I don't blame him because it really is. This used to just be about calling out the big two. And then it spiraled into something even better. Which is making better comics than they can. And at first it seemed like they were going to. It seemed like Comicsgate was poised for success. You know, you had a low overhead, but a massive profit. And unfortunately, a massive profit brings out the grifters. <laughs> and no one really knew that Ethan Daniel Van Piver was a grifter until all this Comicsgate shit. And again, the clear, obvious reality of Ethan Van Piver's failings comes in those ribbit coins. They're not silver. They are 95% nickel or some other material. And very big, why did this happen? Why were people getting taken advantage of by an obvious grift? So that is my chronicling of what has become of this. There's essentially two sides. The people who want to follow the traditions of the initial launch of Comics Gate Comics like Drawbreakers and, you know, just make comics that are on the level of quality as your average Marvel and DC book, only with better writing. And then there's the war campaign side, which is essentially a grift for comic book artists who claim to be conservative and yet who are really just uh, not far left and have been cast aside to basically die i mean that, i think that's what keeps their victim narrative going is that a lot of these people on on the war campaign side on the ethan van piver side in particular they're all like disaffected <laughs> comics creators and they have nowhere else to go but up because they are getting out of a fucking very poisonous system if you've been watching the chain of virus fallout it's a very big fallout <laughs> from uh, the comics industry because they, they have shit the bed even harder somehow. And I don't, I don't really know what to say on that. I, I might do something later if it gets worse. But for right now, this is the big fight. You know, the, the comics gate could be the pillar on which to save the comics industry if it didn't fall for the Ethan Van Piver grift. And what is that grift? to sell good-looking comics that have abysmally mediocre scripts, just piss-poor narrative structure, piss-poor characterizations. They, they are just flat and average. And I can point to mainstream comics that have better writing than fucking Cyberfrog. One right away is goddamn uh, Rob Vendetti's Hawkman. And it's because Rob Vendetti has a breadth of writing for comics whereas Ethan Van Piver has his early cyber frogs which are 
still better than the new cyber frogs. So that seems like a decline in quality there, Ethan Van Piver. Fucking, oh my God, I cannot stand that guy. And uh, by the way, his homosexual demons will be revealed if uh, things <laughs> don't go his way. So that'll be really funny. But what has been the big event that only happened not a week ago when it comes to uh, this little infighting that's going on in Comicsgate? Well, Preston Poulter of Pocket Jacks Comics, who I've mentioned, had the legal foresight to get the trademark for the word Comicsgate. And so Preston is now launching Comicsgate Comics the way that Vox Day tried to. And because Vox Day is really just Teddy Spaghetti, couldn't get it to work. So for me, Preston is the real hero here. He is trying to get things back to where they should be, where we should be making quality comics. We should be creating a parallel industry for conservative voices, for marginalized voices in the comics industry who are, again, specifically not far left. But War Campaign won't have that. War Campaign demands compliance. And it is because they are running a 24-hour gay op server in order to get everyone to fall in line with Uncle Ethan Van Piver's fucking ridiculous op. And what is that op? Apparently, it's just to never be as successful as he is. And that's why, again, like Doug Tenaple just totally left Comicsgate is because they turned on him because he got more successful, which I'm sorry, Ethan Van Piver, but anybody who is more successful than you and runs a more successful campaign, that's an inevitable thing. This is, he's running Comicsgate like it's the fucking mafia. <laughs> It it just goes to show how now all they can do is re when their word gets taken from them. So what will happen next? Uh, lots of drama. You already see this. There are drama channels, much like what happened with the skeptic community, coming out of the woodwork to just host fucking long, asinine live streams all day to bitch about your fellow creators. You know, people that who should all be on the same team. So, what is to be done? There's only one thing. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but like in Krautgate, where Braving Ruin was given a giant breadth of documentation that the they were planning something much more than just research on race realism. They were essentially gathering information for Kraut and T to use in future videos on right-wing content creators, you got to leak them. You got to leak War Campaign. You know, it, apparently you have to send a dick pic. Just find a nondescript one on Reddit. Get in there. Collect the data. You know, post every once in a while if they need you to. And just leave the group. Take all of those screenshots and recordings and dump it on a mega file because that is how Kraut really got his reputation ruined. And at this point, Ethan Van Piver needs to have this kind of failing because I can't believe I'm fucking saying this, but this is my problem with my elephant memory. Um, I remember when Mundane Matt went on to the High Council when it started in 2018 and Mundane Matt and Ethan Van Piver were getting into a giant back and forth discussion. And Mundane Matt essentially said that Comics Gate would fail. And at the end of the day, I have to ask you guys who are loyal to Ethan Van Piver, who are subservient to the war campaign, do you want Mundane fucking Matt, Matt goddamn Jarbo, to be right? Because this is how you prove him to be right. That Comicsgate will fall in the same way Gamergate fell. Just non-stop drama. Loser debates. You know, nothing really done. And at the, at the worst part of this is these quote-unquote talented artists can't even fucking deliver a comic book. You know, it, it baffles me. It's like I've already received at least four of them. And the most recent one was Ethan Van Piver Cyberfrog. And... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 
Richard, despite his problems, was able to deliver a good book closer to the timetable he wanted. Doug Tenaple's Earthworm Jim delivered quite on time. Benjamin Henderson's Ravage Kill All Men delivered quite on time. What the fuck is stopping you? Okay, are you really that lazy? Or is it that you're uh, you're collecting too much money? And, you know, you can't actually print your fucking book. Because, yes, this happens in a lot of crowdfunding operations. But if you're going to label yourself as a movement of crowdfunding operations, it looks worse. Okay? This isn't student works. This is supposed to be a professional level of quality. And you have failed by not getting things done and so you will be replaced by the people who can deliver in a timely manner deliver good content in a timely manner and no one will weep for you five years down the road when you can't even get one book off the ground so that's going to wrap it up for this commentary i think i've said everything on where comic skate currently stands I just wanted some good books is really (laughs) my whole reason to give a shit about any of this. I just wanted some good books with great art that I could, you know, share with friends, family, future children. I didn't really care about the drama, the inner politics. And again, that's what Comicscape will be known for if it doesn't get its shit together. And which is why I'm thankful that Preston bought the fucking trademark because now I can maybe write a comic book and get the comic skate seal of approval on it and it won't have anything to do with Ethan Van Piver and his grift and his 24 hour gay op server of LARPing faggots so to Ethan Van Piver's sect of comic skate if you do not realize the error of your ways well then you better tread lightly because your little empire of larpers is going to come crashing down around you